Hey guys, Jen Alexander here for Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. So we're just on part five of our Sheltie Groom today. So I'm just going to show you some cute little details you can do in the face to up level your grooming skills and bring, you know, your, your detailed grooming to the next level. So I'm going to show you how I like to do my Sheltie ears and how I like to get that face a little bit more defined. And we're going to start to get some volume in this mane. So we're going to show you all of that. Um, so we've detailed our shelter, we've done our detailed scissoring. I'm gonna do a slight bit more in the rear end here. This guy's still growing coat, so we don't wanna do anything too crazy. From that angle from the rear where you're looking, you wanna look and comb up. And do you see everything that doesn't match the thigh? That's where you're gonna put in and begin to angle it in. And I like to just grab and pull very lightly. Okay. It's very subtle. On your double coated breeds, you want everything to be subtle. So again, I'll show you that angle again from the other side. So when you're looking at that thigh down, remember that scissoring is about following simple angles. So again, everything that doesn't match that thigh. I'm gonna grab and pull, angle it in. So it's not rocket science that I know what I'm trimming. I just follow the lines. Okay. Now looking from the side view, this way. Now I'm gonna comb the rear end out. Make sure you get the inner layer as well. Now I'm gonna look at my highest point, my lowest point, we're just gonna grab and pull. Just remove little bits. And just that grab and pull. Very, very gentle. Ooh, hang in there, buddy. He's like, no. No, no, you stick. Very subtle. You want your grooming on your double coats to be very, very subtle. They shouldn't ever look scissored. So you want to keep it nice and subtle. The other side, you get that inside layer and your outside layer, and everything else. And the same thing, I grab and pull, and you want to be looking from a side view. So if you're looking from the side this way, so you pull out. If you grab and pull from where you want the hair to go, and direction, this is my first time grooming this guy, but if I groomed him every time, his hair would start to grow that way. So I'm going to make it very subtle. And that way it's just going to lay super nice. Feel all fresh good? Okay, we've already done our other detail scissoring. Now I'm going to work with me, and I'll show you guys how I like to do the ears. So I like to take my ear, and I want to fold it in half. Okay, folding it in half and pinching it with my thumb and finger. Now I'm going to come and comb everything up, and make sure I get that long hair from behind the ear. Okay. Now I'm going to come straight up and down with my fitting shears, just like we did the front of the foot earlier. Very straight up and down. And then just dust off the top. Again, level with that top of the skull. And then I'm going to lay the half that I was hanging on to out. And you see how we can just detail the edge. And I'm just going to take off a bit of hair on the, on the top. Just, it's just going to define his ear just a little bit more. So if you guys can see now, he's got a very defined ear, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly do the other one. Hold it in half, comb it up, pull from the back. And do that straight up and down. All the way to that long part of the back here. 
and slightly dust over. Again, leveling it with his skull. Pulls it out. I'm going to take off a little bit of length off the tip and then just make sure I've detailed the edges. Okay, and get that beautiful little ear. Now, the Sheltie, when you look at them straight on, you want them to see their cheek. You really want to see this cheek defined. Do you see how if I hold the hair back, how different he looks from one side to the other? So on our show Shelties, I'm going to come in and I'm going to take a couple just little snips right in the front cheek area, okay? And I'm going to comb that out and I want you to see the difference between the sides of his face. Do you see the difference? Yeah. Do you see the difference? I'm going to stop up. This side I did the thinning shear, and this side I did. So do you see how now he's got that beautiful cheek? So this is really important to get in that really beautiful cheek. I'm going to do a little bit more right in the top here. You don't want to do too much because we don't want to take out his color. And then you could even use colored chalk. If I had my colored chalk here, we would then take our orange chalk and really chalk out these colors. Really put some white in, a little bit of black, so that we could really define his face. But do you see that really, it's a subtle difference, but it makes his face look a lot more defined. So we're gonna do that on the other side now. Swing around me. You have a beautiful face. Okay, so you see the difference between the sides? Now I'm gonna come in and just that front layer. Just a couple of snips and come in so he's got that beautiful defined cheek. You see how he's got beautiful defined cheeks, a really nice long muzzle now. Really, really beautiful dog. I'm also gonna come and do the same under his chin, just a slight bit. Just give him a little bit more of a defined throat. Very subtle though. You see how he's got a very defined face now. Okay, defined ears, defined face. Okay, so now we're not gonna spray up the manes on all you guys', but I'll show you on this guy. So I like to comb the whole mane backwards. We're actually gonna start at the top. So I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna take, just this is called a, conditioning cream or chalk and cream or cortisol or there's lots of different names for it. It's almost just like a hand cream. Off here. I'm just going to really get it warm in my hands. This off. And then I'm just going to work it through his hair. Everywhere that I'm going to be putting some chalk. Really the front of his cheek area here and his mane. Just going to really work it in. Right in the root. 
hands, roll this way, and back up. And I would also, depends on your dog, how much water you have, but you can also grab and just do a little bit of back brushing. I don't like to do too much because again, any back brushing you do, you're going to damage his hair. So I like to do little back brushing zaps as we can. Right when I've got the full volume there, that's what I like to do with a bit of hairspray. Not too much. Because again, hairspray dries the fluid up. Alright, so now I'm going to start working the sides. And just made side to side. Put some powder in the root. Work it. A little spray in. Make that moved. Other layer. Powder in. And because we put that cream in, it helps the powder stay. Then do a little bit of back brushing. Then you want to just use your hairspray at the end. And this other side. I'm going to put quite a bit in his cheek hair. I want him to have a lot of volume around his cheeks. And I just kind of take the tip of my comb and I just take the little ends and just set them. You see the difference between one side and the other. Let me get this side set now. You guys can use any dry shampoo as long as it's animal safe. You can use it. Chalking is very messy. Then a little bit of back brushing. But like I said, I don't like to do too much back brushing just because it does tend to damage his hair. And this guy around. I'm going to put lots of his cheek hair. Ends. Let's see how we're getting that big mane. Now his chest is well. Okay. And then back brush. And smooth out. Just the ends. And we'll see if we need a little bit more volume. We can do some back brushing. Right in here. The very last time I took my hairspray just as a finishing.
how we finish off our shelties. You see, when you put all that product in your hair, it's something you want to wash out. Like if the shows are going to wash them afterwards or be fresh all out, because that hairspray will damage his hair, right? So nice flat box. Now, beautiful face. That's a beautiful dog. <laughs> Very yeah. beautiful dog. You see? Nice to find here, see how that connects into the top of the head, and then because we defined the cheeks, so we got really defined face. And then we can do, like I said, we can buy chalk. It's almost like drawing chalk that's in those different colors, and we would take it and put it on all those color patches, the right colors, and it would make his face like pop. So it's a really cool way to do them. Is that the girl? Okay, here it is. <laughs> Okay, well that's our shelter room. I hope those tips and trips helped you guys out. And everyone's dogs are beautiful, so let's get into get them out to the breeder. Shelter's everywhere. <laughs> this will be gonna last. I just want to get pictures of you guys with your shelters, okay? Okay, you can that one if you want. So you want to just let her in. That'd be great. Just tell her to come on back. We're just getting our last pictures. <laughs>